Hello everyone, welcome back to Edutap and welcome to the success story session. So today in the success story session, we have with us Ms. Shipra who has cleared the NABAD grade A recently only the results are out and Shipra is the one who has cleared the NABAD grade A and she has become the NABAD grade A officer. So first of all, heartiest congratulations to you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to the entire team. That's uh, that's really nice. So now in today's session, let's understand from uh, ma'am that how she was able to clear the NABAD grade A in her first attempt. So this was her first attempt for the NABAD. What struggles she faced in clearing this NABAD and how she overcame those struggles. So it will be a great learning for all of you that, is, that are aspiring to become the NABAD grade A officer that how you can move forward after facing the struggles. So first of all, uh, let's understand from her only that what is her educational background. So over to you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. So I hail from Lucknow. So I did my schooling from Kendra Vidyale Lucknow itself. And then I completed my BTEC in computer science from Triple IT, Naya Raipur. And uh, post that I joined Deloitte US India as analyst and I have worked there for one year. And then I moved from Deloitte to SBI for switching from private organization to a government organization. So I have worked and currently I'm working in State Bank of India as specialist officer in information security department. And this was my first attempt to NABAD. So that's that brief about my educational background. Ma'am, can you tell us a little about your motivation towards NABAD, that how you thought that, yes, the MAD is something that I want to give and I want to clear. And working, like uh, for working experience, it is very hard to uh, take out the time, but you had that dedication, you had that motivation to go forward with the with the hard work and the dedication. So how did you do it? Like what was the motivation behind it? Um, my motivation for NABAD was since my college days. So I have done a couple of internship and couple of research-based project, projects specialized in the agricultural development sector. So I have always been intrigued by using and applying the computer science skills and technology for the betterment of society. So I had got uh, multiple scholarships from central government for those projects. So it was somewhere deep inside my heart that I wanted to do something good for the society. So when this job opportunity came and I found out about the organization and the kind of work NABAR does, so it gave me a kind of push that, yes, let me give it a try and I will give it wholeheartedly. I will not just give it for the sake of filling the form and just writing exam. If I have filled the form, I will give my 110% this time and I, will, I want to clear this exam. So that was my first commitment to myself when I was filling the form. And second question that you put for that, yeah, for working aspirant, I agree that it is difficult that you have a nine to six job and then you come back, you want some time to relax. You don't want to sit again towards a laptop or a computer and do things. But I would suggest everyone that everybody has their own strategy. Somebody, some people like to be like night owl, someone wants to be an early bird. It is up to a person to person. But there has to be a commitment and a discipline and towards working for your goals. So you should be clear that why you want to join this organization. You should have your own personal goals aligned with the with the recruitment. Right. So once that is done, you should plan your day. You should ensure that you don't kill or waste time. And once you are back, you should plan your day, how you are going to spend, how you are going to prepare, and you should strategize well for this exam. So I think that one of the core content, uh, core uh, skills that I found that helped me succeed this exam was my strategy. I have strategized a lot. I have gone through the advertisement multiple times, gone through the exam pattern syllabus, and that helped me to strategize and switch and fine tune my strategies as well, time to time. 
Yes. And so you said one thing that uh, that is really great that you should have the commitment to yourself. You are doing yes. this for yourself and you should know that when you are filling the form, we all had this have this notion na, ki ho jayega, kal lenge. Ah, so you should exactly. not be like that. Like you ah. should be like, ki, I want to do this and this is my first attempt and I want to mm. clear it in this attempt only. So this is the mm. commitment that you had towards yourself. Mm. And I can say that your dedication only led you to you. Uh, to your success I can say and as well as you said that you strategized everything very minutely like exactly. so we will understand about your strategy while we understand about how you uh, came to clear the phase one and phase two and then the Navar Grady mm -hmm. officer post so mm -hmm. let's start with the strategy only anything mm -hmm. that you want to tell about your struggles that how uh, what struggles you faced other than this nine to six job as well as how you overcame any one to line about that Ma'am, actually, the exam consists of multiple phases, and every phase has something or other different. You mm. cannot make one particular resource for your entire preparation of NABARD. So, like in phase one, we have multiple subsections. So, you have to prepare for them. So, I think internet is the best resource. You don't need to go anywhere or do anything. You just need to Google. You need to identify. You need to write down what all resources you want to utilize, how you're going to plan your preparation. And I think that will work out. You just need to stick to your plan. Hmm. Okay. So I did that. And every day I used to, one thing that I did was that I used to do handwritten notes. Okay. I used to make my handwritten notes, even for the general awareness, for the current affairs, people usually do and print the PDF, but I used to write notes on a daily basis. So those handwritten notes were very useful for the last minute revision. And I knew that where I have written what point, what stats it was. So that helped me gain confidence when I was eliminating options in the exam. Yes. That was very helpful. Okay. So I think now we can move to the phase one strategy particularly. And for the phase one, like you have given the examination, the Nabar grade from a specialist post from the CSIT, right? Uh, from the information technology. But the phase one is similar for the generalist post also and for the specialist post also. So it is not like you have some other benefit or some other uh, upper hand in that particular area. So talking about the phase one strategy starting with qualifying section like the qre english uh, the qre and the decision making and the computer knowledge so how were you able to manage those five subjects what was your strategy towards those so since i was already preparing for government examination so i was in touch with the conceptual understanding of these qualifying sections like reasoning english quant so i was aware of what the core concepts of the topic was but since the notification came in July somewhere and we had exam in just one and a half months, so we were lacking time. So what I did was rather than going to concepts or following books, I started solving questions. If I had made a commitment or I have just found that every day I will solve two to three questions in reasoning one puzzle every day because puzzles are very tedious and I personally lack confidence in solving puzzles for me, I got, I usually get very much confused in puzzles. So I, I knew that puzzles are going to come and they will be a troublesome for me. So I started with the topics. I was not confident enough. I was not well versed. I uh, went to YouTube, found some videos, understood the concept, what is the tricks, solve questions, and then slightly, slightly the confidence boosted. boosted and I have found that, yes, my puzzle solving skills have improved. Same goes with quants and remaining subjects. Now talking about computer knowledge, so I was already in computer science domains. So I didn't have to struggle much in computer, but yes, I don't want it to be in overconfidence. So I went to and saw a few marathons on the question, type of questions they were asking. They were very basic questions, but just to be sure of that, I don't miss out anything. I have done my 100% by even giving equal time to computer knowledge. So I took marathon and I just found the 100 to 100 set of MCQ questions related to basics of computer applications and computer science and that was sufficient. The important, most important and challenging part was the decision making. It was the new section introduced last year, 
many people have shared their stories that they were they lagged in the decision making so i strategize how i will prepare for decision making i because i don't want to uh, take it very lightly the topic was very easy but there were some theories some points associated and they are they are very standard you cannot miss out or you cannot uh, just create in on your own words somebody has said that kind of statement you have to remember that person's name or what other strategy under this particular uh, kind so one has to remember that so i i took uh, youtube videos freely available from edutap and various other sources and i made my own notes revised them then went back solved questions through marathons and everything i corrected my mistakes went down corrected my notes and i made my own notes and those notes helped me solve the and qualify the decision making and i could see that there were questions directly coming from the those marathons and all those things now like the decision making is a like dukti rak we can say that is the hard part <laughs> because <laughs> you cannot find much sources for Not the decision sure. making as it is quite a new subject so uh, did you find uh, good sources or did you find any book or you st stuck to the uh, youtube sessions and everything so was I there was any concrete to, source i was confined to youtube sources itself okay like, for few things i just googled hmm. made few notes i think that was hardly 10 20% most of the part it was from youtube only okay and uh, one more thing i would like to add that qualifying section you don't need to attempt all the questions you just need to qualify the cut off so agar nahi aa raha hai kuch confident nahi hai and aapko lag raha hai ki aapne sufficient attempt le liya questions ka you you will get to know ki ha main the confidence is me so rather than scoring negative marks let's stop there and do whatever we have done and ensure that we have qualified that particular section yes and one thing that you said was really good that uh, you did means coming from cs background coming from it doing like a job in deloitte and after that you are again studying the basics of the computer science that shows that how humble you are as well as how much knowledge that you have that you should not go in that over confidence zone overconfident, because sometimes yes. we do the silly kind of mistakes that okay i am the masters in computer science i am the masters in this particular subject and in agriculture also because hmm. we have the masters in agriculture or something and we can do the basics so that kind of over confidence can harm you so that is a very good hmm. uh, strategy or the very good key that you have told to the aspirants that do not go in the over confidence because sometimes the basics are the must that we forget because we are human so we tend to forget the small small things so yes so now we have talked about the qualifying section now coming to the merit section and i think the ard would have been a difficult part for you because it is in the merit <laughs> section as well as ard is something very difficult i mean very different from what uh, background you have so tell us a little about the ard background or like how you studied the ard and everything so again i went to youtube baba and i explored all the narrations not only what were coming for the 2022 but i also explored the last year sessions were there mm -hmm. not just practicing questions from those marathons but also from previous marathons and i made notes out of it because after the end of a question they will tell you the concept so rather than going through books because i didn't had enough time to go and because i was working as parent also so i started solving questions i made my notes also so question solved whatever the notes they have mentioned key pointers associated with that but what is that kind of technique called what is that mm -hmm. i used to highlight and some questions used to repeat i used to mark them as important so that when while i'm revising quick revision i will look at that question so those words will be there in my mind mm -hmm. and that has helped me to qualify the ard section okay so you did not focus on or did not uh, follow any particular book or did you no i didn't followed any book for ard specifically some techniques like again i said like you are not sure you can google the, google it you can write some content about it ki ye kya hota hai isme aur kya kar sakte or what latest is going on because every technology in agriculture is evolving kuch na kuch the scientists are doing experiments so they have found something new and yeah. nabard does ask questions related to what is the emerging technology in agricultural domain so aap apne notes ko aur improve kar sakte ho 
तो थोड़ा उससे आप अपने नोट्स इम्प्रूव हो जाएंगे और आपकी प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी और क्वेश्चंस के थ्रू लर्निंग बहुत अच्छी रहती है स्पेशली फॉर वर्किंग एज पेरेंट की आप बुक के थ्रू स्टार्टिंग से नहीं पढ़ते अगर आपके पास टाइम है गो फॉर द बुक बट इफ यू डोंट फील लाइक आई कैन नॉट रीड एवरी चैप्टर एंड आई कैन नॉट रीड लैकिंग टाइम यू गो बाई मैराथन सो यू ओनली फॉलोड यूट्यूब ओनली फॉर द ए आर डी पार्ट ऑल्सो यस मैम okay that is really nice that uh, youtube now has much of the resources that is needed at least for the phase 1 of the erd mm-hmm. so that is nice mm-hmm. now let's move to the esi and the ga part both are the current affairs we can say mm-hmm. and so ca- talking about the esi current affairs and the ga part how are you able to do it continuously because the ga you have to do for the 4 5 months and continuously like there is too much facts and figures that are available that you have to remember so how re- were you able to tackle the ga and the ESI? डेली news that used to come and at the month end i used to download the pdf i used to revise that pdf and i used to highlight the stats because nabar ga level is very very difficult hmm. that was one of the pain point for me and i have faced that in the actual examination as well the level of questions the kind of options they were very confusing you cannot just go by reading some ga pdfs and mm. you will be confident ki mera ho jayega that's a myth you have to put efforts in ga and esi part so daily main notes banati thi ga ke unko revise karti thi weekend and monthly mein jo pdfs lagera rehti thi unse karti thi aur main free time mein kya karti thi ki maine koi session laga liya and parallelly main apna kuch kaam kar rahi hu ya main apne office mein baithi hu aur maine apne laga rakha hai ga to kuch na kuch background mein chalta rehta tha kuch content ja raha hai dimag mein इस तरीके से मैंने जीए की प्रिपरेशन की क्योंकि जीए हमें रिलीजियसली फॉलो करना है आप चार महीने का जीए दो या तीन दिन में नहीं रिवाइज कर सकते और उतना डेटा होता है इतने स्टार्ट होते हैं कि नाबार्ड आपसे एग्जैक्ट स्टार्ट पूछता है तो वो स्टार्ट बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है यस दैट्स ट्रू बिकॉज नाबार्ड Uh, the ga and the esi current affairs it's more like more and more facts and figures and they even go down to the points also ki point mein hmm. figures hoga wo bhi correctly you have to wo bhi connect karna hai ha that is multiple true. questions ko ek question mein bana dete hain aur aapko that, answer nikalna hai that is true so yeah you have to be very like the revisions should be so thorough that you see the question and you have to know the answer otherwise yeah, there will be too much time that would be wasted or fir confidence mm-hmm. you will lose the confidence for the other sections also that will be quite harmful budget ka bhi question hai usme government scheme bhi puchi hai usme unhone usme kitna fund allocate kiya unhone wo bhi puch rakha hai aur aapko teeno ko mila ke sare option sahi lagenge aur aapko exact figure bhi yaad hona chahiye aapko kitne percentage of population ko wo बेनिफिट कर रहा है वो भी ध्यान देना है तो इस तरीके से क्वेश्चंस मतलब मुझे लगा कि वो काफी ट्रिकी है बट ये yes. लगा कि हाँ मेहनत करेंगे तो ये निकल जाएगा नाउ लाइक हाउ मेनी टाइम्स ऑफ द रिवीजन इज लाइक गुड और शुड बी डन अकॉर्डिंग टू यू आई थिंक टू टाइम्स रिवीजन इज ने एक बार आपने अपने नोट बना रखे हैं और एक बार आप उनको पढ़ लो hmm. उनको रिवाइज कर लो और लास्ट में आप जितना क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करोगे उससे आपके आपको भी कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा कि मैं क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर ले रहा हूँ मुझे पजल सॉल्व हो रही है मुझसे ये जो क्वेश्चन है इसको मैं लग, मैंने एक मिनट लगा दिया इतना नहीं टाइम मुझे मिलेगा तो मुझे कैसे थर्टी सेकंड्स में वाइंड अप करना सो आई वॉज कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट सो हाउ इम्पोर्टेंट यू थिंक द मॉक टेस्ट आर फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन मॉक टेस्ट आर वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट very very important they give you an idea and overview how the actual exam is going to be aap ghar mein kitne bhi aise random panch question lagao lekin jab wo timer chal raha hota hai aapke paas screen chali jayegi and you have to solve that question that helps you boost confidence that helps you identify what are your weak points like i also face that even while i was preparing for interview and something i have memorized an answer but when i came and i did more and i found that i fumbled i could not 
get that exact word what was written in my notebook or something like that so giving mocks are equally important mock exam mock interview these are going to help you boost your confidence if you lack just take it in a positive way that these are my points i have to work upon i have time i will work on that and i will ensure my selection this year yes so like you said a good thing that uh, usually the students are or the aspirants are very afraid that if i do the mock and will i be able to answer or not so this is the kind of fear that we have like all of us have that what if we are not able to good uh, do good our exactly. morale will be down confidence down ho jayega kya yeah. lagega ek hafte mein exam mein aur agar main question solve nahi kar payi to kya lagega itni practice kari aur agar us din mein solve hua yes so how were you But able to good. get out of this fear माई थॉट क्वेश्चन सोल्व करेंगे कॉन्फिडेंस बूस्ट होगा एक मॉक खराब गया तो आप दूसरा मॉक दे दो आपके पास ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आपको वो डी डे वाला एक दिन का ही है जो आप देने जाओगे आपके पास मल्टीपल मॉक्स के रहते हैं मेरा भी पहले मॉक्स खराब जा रहे थे बहुत गंदे जा रहे थे मतलब मैं क्वेश्चन सोल्व करी थी और मुझे पता था कि इसकी टेक्निक है बट मुझे क्वेश्चन सोल्व करने में काफी टाइम लग जा रहा है क्वेश्चन छूट रहे थे तो फिर मैंने गई मैंने ट्रिक सोल्व देखी और मैंने टाइमर लगा लगा क्वेश्चन को सोल्व करना स्टार्ट किया मुझे स्पेशली लाइक इन पॉइंट्स एंड रीजन इन क्वेश्चन से मुझे मतलब इन सेक्शन से मुझे लगा कि मुझे देना है टाइम और और जीए के टाइम पे भी मुझे लगा कि ये स्टार्ट्स पूछ रहे हैं तो यूजुअली मैं स्टार्ट्स हम लोग अवॉइड कर देते हैं हम लोग थ्योरी पे ध्यान देते हैं मैंने नहीं स्टार्ट्स पढ़ना है तो एग्जाम के दो तीन दिन पहले मैंने जितने भी जीए के क्वेश्चन थे उन सब में जो स्टार्ट्स है फिगर्स है उनको थोड़ा डॉट कनेक्ट किए ताकि माइंड मैप बना पाए और क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करें तो उसने मुझे काफी हेल्प किया ओके एंड फॉर दिस को पॉजिटिवली लेना है सभी को और उनको जरूर देना है और गलत आता है गलत हो रहा है कोई बात नहीं उन पॉइंटर्स को अपने आप जॉट डाउन करिए और उसे वर्कआउट करिए यस एंड यू हैव टू एनालाइज योर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेस देन कि मॉक्स व्हाई यू आर गिविंग इट सो दैट यू कैन एनालाइज दैट ओके देयर आई एम मेकिंग सम मिस्टेक्स एंड डिड यू फॉलो YouTube ओनली फॉर द GA एंड द ESI ओनली और यू वर फॉलोइंग सम पर्टिकुलर सोर्स फॉर दैट YouTube and i also the went through the newspaper okay so newspaper reading matlab at least ek brief aap newspaper ko dekh lo ki kuch ga ka ya kuch emerging technology ya kuch government scheme vagera ka kuch hai to aap usko mark kar lo jaise maine bataya meri note making ki habit rahi hai to turant maine ja ke un kiya to agar office mein ho kahin newspaper mein ja to fatafat photo khinchi aur ghar pe aake un images se maine apne copy mein note likh liya Okay, and can you name the newspaper because I know the comments will be come will come. Da Hindu. Konsa tha, konsa. Da Hindu. Da okay. Hindu newspaper. That's uh, that's it. Means any other newspaper? No, no. Da Hindu newspaper or monthly. Just like these come to our. Many websites and coaching centers. They stay monthly. 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 मैं ऑफिस में क्या करती थी टाइम सेव करने के लिए तो मैंने टेलीग्राम चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर रखा था जो बीच बीच में क्वेश्चन पुट अप करते थे जीए के या कुछ उनके नॉलेज बाइट टाइप के रहते थे तो मैं उनको पढ़ लेती थी या क्विज कर लिया तो समझ में आ गया कि यार इसमें ये आंसर है या नहीं तो बैठे बैठे रादर देन स्क्रॉलिंग सोशल मीडिया और समथिंग फ्री टाइम में आपने टेलीग्राम पे पांच एक क्विज सॉल्व कर लिया तो वहां से भी लर्निंग हुई ट्रू so now i think we have talked about the merit section that is the ard si and ga part as well as we have discussed about the qualifying section also so now we can move to the phase 2 that is uh, the paper 1 that is same for the generalist and the specialist that is the descriptive english so uh, did you practice for the descriptive english or you were from the mindset that ho jayega means i am good with english and i did practice english as well <laughs> so maine english ke liye hamare paas इस बार जो एडवर्टीजमेंट उसमें लिखा हुआ था कि वी हैव एसे वी कैन हैव लेटर आरसी और प्रेसी थ्री क्वेश्चंस विल बी देयर सो एसे विल बी देयर आरसी विल बी देयर आउट ऑफ प्रेसी एंड लेटर राइटिंग एनीवन यू कैन अटेम्प्ट आई थिंक दे हैव गिवन लेटर ओनली दिस टाइम देयर वाज नो प्रेसी सो फॉर आरसी एंड फॉर थ्री ऑफ दोस क्वेश्चंस आई वेंट एंड आई लुक स्टडीड द रेन एंड मार्टिन द स्टैंडर्ड बुक सो आई took the rc passages from the book from various other sources and i used to solve an rc so so rc may be there are levels like easy stuff hmm. so initially i started with easy rc mujhe laga ki ha bhi mera answer sahi ja raha hai so fir maine 
लेवल अप किया फिर मैंने और डिफिकल्ट आर सीज में कुछ आर सीज ऐसे भी लिए जो बहुत डिफिकल्ट थे जिनको सॉल्व करने में मुझे प्रॉब्लम हुई बट उस टाइम पे एग्जाम में किस टाइप का आंसर आएगा आप कैसे उस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करोगे इसमें कम ड्यूरेशन में आपकी पूरा पढ़ना है कि कैसे उसकी प्रॉपर स्ट्रेटेजी होती है तो वो भी हम यूट्यूब से मैंने देखा था कि कैसे आरसी को पढ़ना है कैसे क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करना है आरसी के तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रेटेजी यूजली मैं स्टार्टिंग में क्या करती थी पहले पूरा आरसी पढ़ ले जस्ट लाइक अ फुल टाइम चाइल्ड और फिर मैं क्वेश्चन सोल्व कर रही थी तो दैट वॉज नॉट द राइट स्ट्रेटेजी देर आर प्रॉपर स्ट्रेटेजी हाउ यू कैन अटेम्प्ट एन आर सी एफिशियंटली दूसरा ऐसे के लिए मैंने बुक्स वगैरह रेफर की हैं कुछ लाइक रेन एंड मार्टिन को पढ़ा एक दो ब्लॉग्स पढ़े द हिंदू के कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट आर्टिकल्स जो ट्रेंडिंग टॉपिक्स आते थे वो पढ़े और ऐसे में जो टॉपिक्स हैं दे आर फ्रॉम मल्टीपल डोमेन लाइक देर विल बी टॉपिक ऑन सोशल स्किल्स देर विल बी फ्रॉम टॉपिक ऑन द इमर्जिंग इकोनॉमिक और सोशल इशू देर विल बी अ टॉपिक फ्रॉम टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देर विल बी सम मोर टॉपिक फ्रॉम डिफरेंट डोमेन so you have option to choose so i was very clear that if it will come i will choose from the technical or from the social issue so i was practicing those kind of essays more i was reading more content and material about the emerging technology in the field of computer science or technology technological advancement that government is doing what are their initiative and the notes i have made in ga i have quoted those that and those things in my essays as well yes that was the strategy for english and uh, um, can you tell me the pattern tell the experience the like first you attempted which essay or the rc or the letter my started with first with the essay okay because and then that you... is a big chunk you have done with essay because you have to type a lot of content Okay. so then with this then i went with letter writing so this time they have given the business letter writing so one should be well versed with the format you cannot miss the format mm-hmm. in one of my exam i wrote pressy and i remember i forgot to mention title and that is when i gave the exam and I submitted it i was like i have not mentioned the title because because i lacked yeah. practice that time so i thought that in english format is very important yes that's true and you have also um, discussed and you have also told that how uh, much of the videos you have seen like you have understood the strategy to follow the rc to do the rc so that is also a big mm-hmm. thing that the descriptive english is usually not given as much weightage uh, in the mm-hmm. practice as should be given because it also carries 100 marks so you have given the much focus to the english and that uh, reaped results also and uh, now i think we can move to the and the, the second paper that is paper 2 so coming to the it section so i think you will you are quite comfortable with that section yes ma'am i so paper 2 consists of two parts one is objective part and one is descriptive part so this is with nabard that nabard conducts descriptive part for specialist uh, positions mm-hmm. so for objective part i was uh, practicing questions i went through my notes from my btech i made notes from various sources like we have geeks for geeks we have various online material and youtube channels so i made my notes practice questions for the objective part and for descriptive part i have made a more detailed notes because in uh, nabard we have questions of 10 marks and <coughs> 15 sorry so 15 marks and 10 marks questions what i faced initially when I, while i was preparing so i had knowledge on what this uh, let's say there was a question on what is artificial inter- intelligence and tell us the application of artificial intelligence i work in that domain but when it comes to writing down like a 15 mark answer you will lack words you will not be able to frame the answer correctly so for that i have written my notes i have made pointers and point wise uh i made and in exam i elaborated those points mm. and one strategy i followed for preparation of mains was i used to type the answers in my laptop so do ensure that your typing speed is sufficient enough that you don't miss out any question lot of candidates i have found when i gave exam they said that mera ye question chhod gaya ya to main itna kar nahi payi itna content likh nahi payi तो उसके लिए यही स्ट्रेटेजी कि आपने जो भी 
पढ़ा जो भी समझा तो उसको आप आंसर वाइज आप आप उसको आंसर को लिखिए टाइप करिए तो आपकी जो स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक है वो भी धीरे धीरे इम्प्रूव होती है ना कि स्पीड भी इम्प्रूव हो रही होती है यस yes. that's true so yeah practice is the key in the descriptive writing also because you have to practice a lot this will improve your typing speed as well as uh, you will frame better questions uh, better answers so was there any particular source that you followed for the descriptive answer writing for the mains part for the paper 2 i followed geeks for you and there were some websites for particular topic like i was preparing so computer science mein there is enough sources like tutorial point is there java t point is there you should write notes like there will like i said ki there is a topic in computer science most of the thing is about doing things in computer rather than explaining or theoretical so you have to justify for example there was a question on normalization form in dbms now you don't have much content to write it was a 15 mark question now what i found that i lacked content in the Uh, while i was writing the descriptive answer so what i did i gave example also so that my content reaches a certain level of a 15 mark answer so give, remember the answer point wise and once you write the pointers elaborate them if you feel ki aur content likhna chahiye mujhe to ek example ke sath har ek point ko aap elaborate kar sakte ho Yes, that is the nice strategy. Now I think we have discussed about the uh, phase two also, and now we can move to the interview part. So, how was the interview? How was the panel? Panel was very cordial. Even if you lack few answers or you are, they understand that they are grilling you. They will change the dimension as well. In my case, my interview was mostly on my profile. So I had already worked in various companies, and I was currently working in. SBI, so they asked me questions on my profile specifically. So in the panel, the sir started with brief introduction, and then he started uh, putting questions on my profile. So I have mentioned about what kind of work I do. So he asked me, "Ki how your work will be useful in Nabad? So how you can use those skills and how you can be a good resource in Nabad?" So I explained that point. then there were question from ma'am that are you aware of these particular schemes that we run so not just technical but you should be aware of what all things nabard is doing and how you can link it with your profile or if you have past experience you should definitely connect those skills with nabard yes so in any of the interview we can say that your experience as well as how you are going to benefit the organization how you will be resourceful for the organization what role you want to play in the organization matters a lot so the question revolves around that also and were there more technical questions or more hr based questions and there were more technical questions okay there were just a couple of hr questions like your introduction or why you want to join nabard what is your motivation behind that apart from that they he, one of the panel i remember he asked me about what is chat gpt it was a trending topic these days <laughs> luckily i was reading about those topics so i told him what this is chat gpt then he asked how chat gpt can be used in your domain like what are the security hmm. um, and think that yes. yeah so uh, now moving forward to the hr based questions like uh, you have told about the hr based question now moving to the website questions were there any questions directly from the website of the nabard regarding the role or the working of the nabard or the departments something like that not they didn't ask any of these type of questions from me but i have prepared these questions i have prepared a good set of 40 50 questions of hr what are your hobbies what are likings everything you should be prepared because these are certain things you should be very clear hmm. in questions mein agar aap interview mein ja rahe ho jo aapki profile based hai jo bahut basic hai question hai inse aapko fumble nahi karna inka answer aapko nahi pata unpe aisa nahi sound hona chahiye unko bhi lagna chahiye ki candidate prepare karke aaya hai see the interviewer wants to select you wo aapko reject karne ke liye nahi baithe hain wo they are looking for one two three good points ki ha you are good in these parameters and we will take you wo apna time invest kar rahe hai wo sab इतना एक लंबा प्रोसेस किया है उन्होंने भी उन्हें भी पता है कि जो यहाँ तक जो बच्चा आया उसमें वो काबिलियत है 
तो दे आर ऑल्सो लुकिंग फॉर दैट वन पास तो कभी ये नहीं सोचना चाहिए कि इधर क्वेश्चन में एक दो क्वेश्चन मुझसे भी मैं जस्टिफाई नहीं कर पाई थी मुझे रियलाइज हुआ हो जाता है कई बार कि उस प्रेशर में या बहुत प्रेशर पड़ रहा है यू कैन नॉट तो एक क्वेश्चन मुझसे बार बार रिपीट हो रहा था मैं उस डोमेन में नहीं वर्क करती हूँ मैंने उसको अटेम्प्ट लिया मुझसे दोबारा वो क्वेश्चन पूछा आई फाउंड की इंटेंशन है कि इस क्वेश्चन को वो और पूछेंगे तो मैंने उनको डायरेक्टली बोला कि मैम आई डोंट वर्क इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डोमेन आई विल गेट बैक एंड आई विल चेक हाउ दिस थिंग वर्क तो आप उसको पॉजिटिवली ले सकते हो तो कैसे आंसर को ना करना है इसकी भी स्ट्रैटेजी आपको बनानी पड़ेगी सो नाउ आई थिंक वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ द इंटरव्यू पोर्शन ऑल्सो दैट यू मस्ट हैव गिवन अ रियली नाइस इंटरव्यू एंड नाउ आई थिंक एनी मैसेज फॉर द एक्सपीरियंस लाइक हु आर द वर्किंग एक्सपीरियंस हु वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन न बार्ड हु आर फ्रॉम द स्पेशलिस्ट पोस्ट हु डजेंट हैव मच सोर्सेज बिकॉज फॉर द जर्नलिस्ट पोस्ट देर आर मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट आर प्रोवाइडिंग द कोर्सेज बट फॉर स्पेशलिस्ट पोस्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिसोर्सेज यू हैव टू गो आउट एंड सर्च एवरी थिंग सो एनी मैसेज फॉर द एक्सपीरियंस आउट देर Mr. So Sir, my first thing that I would like to convey to everyone that is believe in yourself. Rest of things will fall in place. Have faith. Do your hard work. Be dedicated and have discipline with your schedule. So your commitment should be there that I have to qualify this exam and treat your first attempt, whatever attempt you are taking, as your last attempt, like do or die kind of situation. You have to give something different in your attempt. तो वो डेडिकेशन होना चाहिए वो एफर्ट आपको लेना चाहिए कि आई हैव डन दिस थिंग एंड आई फील लाइक इस बार होना चाहिए मेरा तो वो इतना हार्ड वर्क आप कर दो उसमें कि ये कुछ गुंजाइश ना बचे जितना आप कर सकते हो उतना करो दूसरा मैसेज मेरे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए रहेगा कि मैंने हमेशा नोट्स बनाती हूँ मेरी आदत रही है हमेशा से तो वो जो नोट्स हैं मेरे वो मेरे लिए काफी हेल्पफुल साबित रहे मैं फोटोग्राफिक मेमोरी में बिलीव करती हूँ कि कई बार होता है कि आपको कुछ चीजें क्लिक नहीं कर रही थी बट आपको पता था कॉपी के इस पॉइंट पे मैंने ये चीज लिखी है या ये इसमें छह पॉइंट हैं मैंने सिर्फ तीन ही लिखे हैं बाकी तीन मुझे याद आएंगे तो वो याद आते हैं आपको तो अगर आपके पास टाइम है तो आप नोट्स बनाइए उनको हाईलाइट करिए डिफरेंट पेन्स यूज करिए और अपने नोट्स को और एनरिच करते जाइए कोई कंटेंट मिल रहा है कहीं से तो उसको और और इंटरव्यू के लिए मेरी स्ट्रेटेजी यही रहेगी सबके लिए कि जो भी आप क्योंकि मोस्टली इंटरव्यू प्रोफाइल बेस्ड ही होते हैं स्पेशलिस्ट के लिए तो आपको जो भी आंसर आप लिख देना चाहते हो जो उसका स्टैंडर्ड आंसर है उसको आप उसमें कुछ आपका एक आपका एक एलिमेंट होना चाहिए कुछ यूनिकनेस होनी चाहिए आपके आंसर में ताकि उनको जेन्यूटी दिखे कुछ पॉइंट्स ऑनेस्टी के भी होते हैं ट्रू वन क्वेश्चन दैट दैट इज लेफ्ट इज डिड यू गिव एनी मॉक इंटरव्यू यस मैम आई गिव मॉक इंटरव्यू आई गिव मल्टीपल मॉक इंटरव्यू आई थिंक आई गिव टू मॉक इंटरव्यू and how do you, uh, how much helpful do you think the mock interviews are mock interviews are very very helpful for me very helpful i think i gave the edutap mock interview and it was very good uh, the panel was from nabard itself so they were very cordial they pointed out my mistakes they pointed out what are my weak points and they even gave suggestions how i can improve them and how i can justify a certain answer i was facing challenge in multiple questions they helped me they gave enough ample amount of time they worked with me on writing those answers so i went and i uh, visited i mean i uh, watched those recorded sessions of my interview again and again hmm. and there was sufficient time for me to improve on those skills so i like once was that i was not confident enough so they asked me to sit in front of a mirror and mm. practice your answer mm. so i did that and it helped me there okay thank you so much shipra for taking out this time and for sharing with us your story your struggles and how you overcame uh, the struggles and it was really nice talking with you thank you so much for thank coming thank you so much ma'am thank you so much for inviting me